Hello, Keith and Steve here again at Rock Island Auction House, and today we're bringing three more cool guns from the vault. And Steve, what have we got right here? Keith, we got a trio of Lamatt revolvers, the famous Civil War revolver mm -hmm. built in Europe. Um, the reason we have three of them is because we have three different distinct types. Over on your right there, we have the original percussion style. That was a 40 or a 42 mm -hmm. caliber gun and it had a 20 gauge center barrel. This is a cylinder revolving yeah. around a 20 gauge barrel. And that was all percussion loaded mm -hmm. from the muzzle. We're pretty familiar with that. It, it appears uh, in a lot of history books and some movies, things yeah. like that. Um, who carried one in the Civil uh, War? PGT Beauregard yeah. and uh, Jeb Stewart, right. Confederate infant, uh, Cavalry. That's the same General Beauregard that fired on Fort Sumter and started yep. the festivities? Yes, sir. Sure did. Yeah, all right. Later on, they decided they could one-up that, and the Belgians started making them in pin fire. That's why these cylinders have this little hole at the rear here. That's for the pin fire pin to protrude, so the hammer could come down on top of it and hit it. That was a black powder cartridge again in a copper, usually a copper case with a soft lead bullet. And that gave you a lot of firepower. The, the center uh, barrel, the shotgun barrel, was still muzzle loaded, but the rest of it was for a cartridge, and that's why it has a loading gate where that one does not. Pretty slick. But the reason I'm really interested in these is because of this third example, which is all center fire all the time. This is a cartridge gun on the Lamatt design, and I've never seen anything quite like this. <laughs> it's got the different shape grip. Mm -hmm. It's got a loading gate down here where you slide in your cartridges one at a time. And the ejector, kind of like a single action army, um, goes through, pops out your rounds. Then, get this, here is your bank vault lockup to put your shot shell in. Now, don't ask me what shot shell this took. I have no idea. But it is a center fire. Firing pin's right here. And when you close this down, you take this, lower that, so the hammer hits that firing pin. And you see it doesn't go all the way closed on the upper chamber. Really a slick design. I don't know who thought of, of doing all this, but it is incredibly tight, it's a little bit complicated, and it just looks great. This is a cool looking gun. Plus it's got a little landing dupe for uh, yeah. cavalry use. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's just... I've seen Lamatts before, but I've never seen a cartridge yeah. Lamatt. I mean, that's almost something like you'd see in some science fiction movie or, I mean, just like Hellboy. Yeah, Hellboy, exactly. Yeah, Hellboy. Now, one thing right here is this little knob right uh -huh. here that kind of gets in the way right there, but it's in between your, your knuckle and ring, or a pinky and ring finger, so it's not so bad, but that's a really steampunk design from back in the yeah, day. That's a good term for it, steampunk. Yeah, it's very unusual. I mean, trigger guard is one complete piece right here. Just wild. Well fitted though, throughout. Yes, it is. It doesn't have any finish left on it. I no. bet that gun was beautiful when it came out. Yeah, it's seen it's seen quite a bit of use, but they took good care of it overall. Not Didn't beat it to death or anything. But they sure did. Yeah, almost. Well, this is a fun gun to look at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could put some silver bullets in there for werewolf hunting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. That's the uh, cartridge Lamatt. Just a beautifully made gun and very handy. You, you hoist this up, it feels right. It feels like a good gun. So, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction very much for letting yes. us look at this and many other fine guns. We'd like to thank you for watching. And please, if you found this interesting, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the wall.